Hello everyone, it's been a good minute. I hope you had a great summer. I had an excellent and very long summer. As you can see, there's a little bit of a different setup. We have moved around a little bit, but here we are and I'm ready to react to the second half of the first episode of the Fallout. And I'm looking forward to hearing all of your comments and reactions as well in the comment section. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the last time we left it off at this uh, super duper cliffhanger scene, there was an explosion at the vault. They took away her dad and he locked her away in this like cage thingy. It's kind of crazy. I had a little bit of an intuition and a gut feeling that the people who came for the wedding, they were not really all that nice and from the previous vault and they were actually like from outside and radioactive and all of that. So let's see what happened after that. You look like your mother. How do you know her mother? Where are you taking him? To the real world. Maybe you should do what you do best. Run. Run, 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 run. Okay, now this is where we left off. Okay, let's go to the outside water. There's some military camp or something. Maximus. So I'm not sure if I don't remember from the first part of the episode, because it's been a minute, or if they actually have never showed this concentration camp something. Because I'm still looking for the connection. But uh, let's see. That I've been unhappy all along. And also, are all of these people radioactive now and like just chilling cry. around and living their lives? Can you identify this relic? It's a uh, rotor. <gasps> Circuit. The ability. Oh, wow. Also, why are the old men in this concentration camp thingy? It's like 200 years after the world has been destroyed by nuclear explosions and then we have a military something of radioactive potentially people and why are they all men where's the women unless you know what to find and preserve you are more useful as a corpse that's a little excessive oh are these children and a female There's children who smoke. It's like if the radiation doesn't kill you, the cancer will. I wonder why they're here. And who are they? Oh, they have the suits. So as far as I understand, these suited people are part of the military base. I thought at first maybe there's like the enemy or something. But okay, good to know. Do they get to wear it or who gets to wear it and why? And also, why are they wearing suits? If there's people here that are living without suits, it goes to show that they got adapted to the level of radiation somehow, right? So why are the other people wearing suits? I have too many questions, okay? <laughs> As always. Are they playing basketball with the bricks? That's like slightly dangerous, but you know, creative if you have no ball. Okay, that's very public. Get this, we're going to the wilds! <laughs> uh -huh, okay, so they got chosen to wear the suits and I, I guess go on these missions and stuff, which I now see that this is, I guess, what you want to do when you're in this military base and not avoid. Good for them. Back to duty. happening oh is there something oh my god and they put it in without seeing oh my god no that is terrible oh do you think there's some like 
hatred and vendetta going on there. Maybe other people didn't like that they got the promotion to go on their like suited missions and stuff. Interesting, I still have no clue or connection how these people are related or something with the vault people, but I guess we will figure that out later on. And also my other question is, do these people know of the existence of the vaults? And if yes, what's happening in that? Business as usual in the vaults, uh, replacing everything, doing everything as it was before. Honestly, I kind of do like how they kind of adjusted and adapted to the life in the vaults. It seems to be very like civilized and nice and organized in the specific vault that we are observing, not in the other ones, because it was clearly like cropless and people were not as I don't know, civilized like these ones were. But yeah, it's quite interesting how they kept it together for so many years. There's a brighter side to <laughs> Was the poster, the outside world can never hurt you? It literally did. That is because of the outside world that this happened. And there's a Compost, no. In every Oof. There's a brighter, brighter Not patching up, just straight on stapling it like two pieces of paper and going. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. We can surface. That's not something that we ever do or have ever done, never, ever, ever. True, but it's also never, ever, ever happened that your people were taken away from the vault and especially the ones that cared for you and helped you become, I don't know, who you are. So, I mean, I get it, her emotional part, because it's her dad and all, but at the same time, now there is a danger that came down to your vault. So it's not like you are a nice, happy place, safe place like you were before. People know where you are and they went outside with her dad so they might as well come back or do something worse. So I don't think it's the worst idea to go and explore what's happening, especially I assume they have like radiation detectors and stuff like that. So if it's like deadly, they would not go outside or if it's deadly, the other people will probably not survive anyways there for like their whole lives. They don't want to find that. If they did, they wouldn't get to be in charge. And you don't want to find that yourself. You were like the most scared person when the other people came over. Your sister did everything and you were just sitting around and hiding. I wonder if he's given a chance if he's gonna go outside. <laughs> I highly doubt that. These signs are like slightly unhinged, all of them. Is he like onto something? Because that was very suspiciously weird. Oh, they are onto something. Are they going all out? Nice. Right, because a cousin can open the door. Let's go, save the dad. The whole thing. I'm going with you. Chet, what you're doing is insane. You don't even know which way to go. It isn't like the vault out there, it's big. He's like, it isn't like the vault out there, it's big. First of all, you've never seen it. You're a similar age with her, so it's not like you've been outside. Second of all, at least I appreciate his courage going out because he has feelings for her versus the son of the guy who was taken outside that is clearly too coward to go out and try to search his dad. <laughs> ah, you had one job, like literally. Just her, her, hold the elevator. Okay. Thanks. Okay, go now before the other people start coming out. Oops. Just go, go. That didn't work. This is an interesting way that the door opens and closes. Okay, where is her detectors? Does she have any detectors? We can see what's the level there. Also, was there any plan on how to contact the Vault 33 people 
that she's coming with her dad because they took this elevator and they are like so deep down. So what if she comes? It's not like she can knock on the vault door and they will open for her, right? I didn't see any such planning happening or communication, so we'll see. I mean, provided she finds a dad or even survives, right? Or wants to go back. Ooh, there is skulls and stuff. Oops. Something tells me that 200 years later, those people that are like dust-like, they would have like deteriorated and broke down and that's like, have the detail of like the finger pointing at something. It's kind of nice that she got outside and she got to see the outside and like the ocean and stuff. So as long as she doesn't die from anything mutated or radioactive or something, something, I guess it's going to be an interesting experience. Okie dokie. Let's go, girlie. You can do it. Oh, they think he did it. It might be. He didn't seem very happy when they got the promotion. So I saw women as part of this military base. So I retract my previous statement, but why is it called the Brotherhood? Then if there is like all kinds of genders in there. I hope you cannot hear that. <laughs> Your fellow aspirants say it was you. I mean, he didn't seem particularly happy when they got the promotion and he was like smacking those wheel buckets of poop. So, Maybe he got jealous, maybe he thought he was the one that was supposed to get the promotion. Even though I did feel that the other person had a higher ranking than him, but um, yeah, who knows? We don't even know who he is, so. I, I wouldn't, why not? Why not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spill it. Speak. I didn't do it, I did not. I, I, I wanted it to happen, is that wrong? You're not painting the best picture for yourself. Yes. Yeah. Violence against a brother of steel it's a sign of weakness. How are you? Weak. Weak? Clearly. Do you have anything else to say? In your defense? He didn't do much of a defensing, but yeah. I, I want to thank you. Eden, or whatever. Even if it means giving my own life. What's Eden? And I'd be grateful to the Brotherhood for giving my life meaning. Good boy. Well, you will be Knight Titus, new squire. Uh-huh, so he did get what he wanted after all. It's a less and less believable that he didn't do it. But yeah, I mean, it worked out for him after all. Can someone help me in the comment section and explain to me who these people are? Or why are they up here? What's going on with them? Where are they? Some information. I am still having problem forming the connection and it's like almost the end of the episode and it, I don't really understand why we are watching them. Because I'm invested in the dad. The dad needs to be saved. I'm not sure your friend would be particularly happy about this decision, but okay. I told him he wouldn't hurt a fly. That's what a true friend says, not what the other guy said. It is your most sacred duty to protect your lord, Knight Titus. Do you accept? There is some weird cold things happening in this brotherhood. Okay. Ow. T for Titus, who we don't know who that is. Is this guy? A profound potential to harm our nation. What nation? You're like a hundred people there. Go forth with honor. And may the shape of the future be cut by your sword. Yeah, that sounds very friendly. This looks like the guy from Lost, or the person of interest. So he doesn't get his own suit? Oh. I don't know which grave. Some more people in the no, upper Pedro room. Pedro has our friend dug up once a year. Cuts pieces off and puts them right back in the ground. Bingo. That's interesting. Shit. How is this asshole been moldering in the ground? How do we know he's not feral? That is why we brought 
My little friend, a feral goon, came chicken. by the chicken. If he goes for him, we kill him. That's a ridiculous plan, but I guess solid. <laughs> How about the chicken? How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you for the next 30 years? He looks, first of all, he doesn't have a nose, I just noticed that. He looks like the cowboy guy from the first scene where his little kid saw the explosions. He looks way too weird, that's why it took me a while, but uh, I didn't remember that first of all that scene was in California. And second of all, still missing the connection here. What is the enclaver that they keep saying, like as a place? Who are the witches and all of that kind of stuff? I do this shit for the love of the game. <laughs> I guess he's doing the mission himself then. We take it as it comes. Take the chicken. Okay, I think this was the end of the first episode. So now we have concluded and uh, I think I have more questions than when I started watching the episode. I am pretty sure we're gonna have much more context about the people on the like actual ground that they are living there. Because for the underground people we have some context already that was provided from the beginning. But it was interesting so far, intriguing. Looking forward to see what's happening next. I want to hear what you think about this part that I reacted to. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or if you have answers to my questions which are way too many and if you would like me to react to the second episode and keep going with the series you can also let me know there is something in the works in the background that i am super excited to release quite soon and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing your reaction guys i've been working quite hard on this so you're gonna hear much more about it very very soon don't forget to like and subscribe and Turn on the bell notification icon. It's been Alina, your friendly nuclear physicist. And until next time, see you soon. I am preparing something very... <laughs>